everyone, and welcome back to another exciting week of Power Apps tutorials. I'm Andrea, and today I'm going to get you started on how to make your Canvas app come to life. I'll show you how to sort a list by created date, how to add a search option for your gallery list, and how to make your form reset to a new form every time the user submits the form. Let's begin. Just a reminder that this is a continuation of my last video about SharePoint lists and connecting them to a Canvas app. So if this page doesn't look familiar, please go back to my previous video to see how I got here and how I added all of these forms and these list views. So I've added a label to the top to make this a better user experience. This app now looks like an app. I've added a Fadeback app and I have added a background color using the side panel here. Next, we're going to add a new form to be populated here once the user selects post feedback. At this time, when the user selects post feedback, we get no item to display. So in order to create a new form after the form is already submitted, you're going to click on the post feedback button. And after the semicolon, you're going to type new form and you're going to tag the same form. Let's test it. We're going to select play. And then once we post feedback, a new form will populate and our new entry will get added to the bottom. Now let's add a way for this list down here to sort by date so that the newest entry will get added to the bottom, to the top. So let's go back to the editor, bring out your tree view. We're going to select the gallery. Ensure that your drop down says items. Remember this name, that's your SharePoint list for when we start the sort. So you're going to start typing sort, open parentheses, type in your SharePoint list in either single quotes or you might be able to just do it without the quotes and then comma created descending closing parentheses and as you can see here our data is now populated based on the most current submission. So now once the user submits a new entry, it will just populate at the top. Now say you want your feedback list to not duplicate any of these lists items down here. We want this feedback input to act as a search bar. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a icon to our box to indicate to the user that this is a search box. So what I did is I went to insert icons and then I selected the magnifying glass for search. The user won't have to click the magnifying glass to search anything. It will automatically search, but this provides a better user experience. So let's go down to our gallery, select that from the tree view and inside the items dropdown, we're going to add search. So after the first open parentheses, we're going to type search, open parentheses. We're going to leave feedback list as is. But after the first comma, we're actually going to take, click inside of your input, make sure that this box is highlighted so that you can see what this is called. For me, it's data card value two. So we're going to take that, go back to gallery. After the comma, you're going to type data card value two or what is it for you, whatever it is for you, add it there. And then you're going to type period. And IntelliSense is going to give you options for what you can use, but we're going to use text. And then after the text field, we're going to select 
both the feedback and the description as a search. So when the user types anything from the description list or from the feedback item list, uh, the search will be activated. So for me, it is called feedback and the description is called description. Whatever it is for you in your SharePoint list column name, that's what you're going to add. And then you're going to close it off with a parentheses and a comma. You're going to click out and let's test it. So we're going to hit play. And we're going to select one of these just as a test demo. I'm going to say functionality here. And as you can see here, it populates only this field for functionality. So the user can easily search for anything in this list. And as you know, once the feedback app gets more data, this will become useful for the user to easily search a feedback that might already be in the system. So now let's try something that's in the description and see if that works. So let's go with data. And as you can see here, this is the only one with data in the description, but that one also has data in the title. So let's see something else. Maybe details. Yep. So this one populates details. So it takes everything from the feedback title and the description and searches. This search bar acts as a search, but also you can post feedback directly. So nothing gets populated, but you can still post and it gets added directly to the top. Even if you have something that might be a little bit different, you can still post them to the top. Subscribe to my channel or connect with me on LinkedIn to get notified when my next video is posted. I'll continue this series and demo how to build a detailed view screen from clicking an item from a gallery list. Thanks for watching. Bye.